Greetings, yoga friends, and thank you for joining me today for this brief vinyasa yoga class. In today's class, we will continue strengthening and stretching the shoulders. You might like to have a strap for today's practice, but you won't need any other props. So take a moment, gather up anything you need, and I'll see you on the mat. We'll start today's practice in standing. So let's take just a moment to connect with our foundation, making sure the feet are directly parallel here, just like there were walls on either side and we were allowing the outsides of the feet to connect with those walls. Feet are shoulder width apart here, engaging the calf muscles, engaging the quadricep muscles, rolling the shoulders onto the back and pulling the belly button up and in. And if you like, you can allow the hands to remain relaxed next to the legs, palms facing forward, or you can bring the hands to heart center. Pressing into all four corners of the feet. Just begin to breathe down into a soft belly. You close your eyes, or if that makes balance difficult, just allow your gaze to remain lowered towards the floor. Allow the breath to fill the lungs all the way to the bottom. And as you feel your breath expand, see if you can allow yourself to expand. So that you're really filling up all of the internal space. If you've come to this practice, during your work day or perhaps after work, or maybe even on a weekend. We spend so much time inhabiting the space in between our ears and we forget to drop down into the body. So take this moment to really connect with what it means to you to be in your body. If your eyes are closed, you can allow them to flutter open here. And we'll just begin to move with the breath, dropping the fingers down, inhaling the arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing the hands down through heart center. Taking these sun breaths at your own pace, exhaling all the way down. Inhaling, filling up all the way. Maybe your gaze goes up towards your fingertips. Exhaling down through the body. Inhaling, the arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Inhaling the arms up overhead again. This time we'll turn to one side, any side, and just allow the arms to come down halfway. Inhale, arms come up overhead, really reaching. Exhale, arms drop to the other side, down halfway. Continuing to move with the breath, warming up the shoulders in this very gentle way. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, dropping to one side. And come through this one more time on each side. Yeah. 
Inhale the arms up overhead, coming back to center. Exhaling, hands come down to heart center. Here we'll inhale the arms open wide. And as we're exhaling, bring the left arm over the right arm. Interlaced arms and bringing the fingertips into the palm coming into eagle arms here. Bending into the knees just slightly. We'll exhale and as we're exhaling, drop the elbows down just a bit. And then on the inhale, allow the fingers to rise up towards the ceiling slightly, if that feels good for your shoulders. Exhale, bringing these eagle arms back to center and then inhaling, opening up through the arms. Moving those shoulder blades back towards each other. Exhale, right arm comes over left this time. Don't worry too much about which arm is on top or not. Just bring the opposite arm over this time. Feel the skin of the upper back spreading apart. As you exhale, allow those elbows to sink down just slightly. And then inhale, bringing those fingertips up towards the ceiling. Finding the breath. Inhale, arms come open wide. Exhale, hands come down to the side. And here, if you have your strap handy, you might like to grab your strap, taking that strap over the right shoulder. We'll inhale the arms open wide, taking the right arm up and the hand between the shoulder blades and allowing that left arm to come around behind, grasping the strap with both hands here and pulling away with the hands on the strap. Seeing if you can get that left elbow, sorry, right elbow pointing right up at the ceiling. Bending into the knees slightly, pulling the belly button into the spine. You might twist to the side just a little. Twisting towards that elevated arm. And then inhale back to center. Gently unwind the arms and allow them to come back to rest at your sides, shaking them out if you like. You can shift that strap over to the other side. And now inhaling the arms open wide. This time we'll take the left arm around behind the shoulder blades, taking the right arm around behind and grasping the strap or your fingertips, whatever you can reach here. And if you don't have a strap in your home practice, you can always use the back of your shirt or a tea towel, just whatever works. Moving that elevated elbow up towards the ceiling. And then on your next exhale, turning towards the elbow. And see if you can keep the weight evenly distributed in your feet here. Just a little awareness in the feet. And then inhale back to center, releasing the fingertips and allowing the arms to unwind. Moving your strap over to the side and we'll take a walk up to the top of the mat now. So coming to the top of your mat, we'll inhale the arms up overhead, exhale as we lower into a forward fold. Inhale up halfway here and then exhale, dropping into this fold, bending the knees as much as you need to to allow the belly to come towards the thighs. Planting both hands here, we'll take a big step back with the left foot. Exhaling as we shift the gaze forward 
and the hips down. Dropping the left knee to the mat, we'll inhale the arms up overhead, pressing forward to the left hip and back through the right hip. Nice big inhale here. And then exhaling, allow those fingers to rain down to frame the right foot. Planting both hands, step that right foot back to meet the left, coming into a plank pose here or coming into half plank, whatever suits you. And if you like to come through a vinyasa, you can pull the elbows into the sides, coming down to chaturanga and up dog or uh, baby cobra, or you can just go directly to downward facing dog. And we'll meet here and downward facing dog. Two breaths. And now grounding into the right foot. We'll inhale the left foot forward, coming into a lunge on the left side. Exhaling as we shift the gaze forward, dropping that right hip down. Taking that right knee to the mat, right top of the foot comes to the mat as well. Inhaling, arms up overhead. Exhaling, raining the fingers down. Stepping the left foot back to meet the right. Coming through the plank pose, vinyasa. Perhaps coming to up dog or baby cobra. Or just going directly to downward facing dog. And we'll meet here and down dog for a few breaths. Maybe bringing awareness here to the shoulders and the work that they are doing. So spreading the fingers open nice and wide, dragging back on the fingers just slightly so that that little cup appears underneath the palm. And then really pressing away from the mat so that the shoulders are very engaged here, lower ribs, are knitting in towards each other. Shoulder blades are moving back towards each other. And tailbone is shifting up towards the ceiling. And here, feeling this connection, this crown of the head to tailbone connection. I'm gonna ground down into the left foot, allowing the right foot to rise up from the mat. Inhaling here and exhaling as we bring the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, right knee comes back up. Exhale, right knee comes to left elbow. Inhale, right knee comes back up. Exhale, right knee comes right into center, really pressing into the shoulders here, pulling the belly button in tight pulling the knee into the chest. And then when you're ready, stepping that right foot through, planting the left hand into the mat here. We'll inhale, open wide. And exhale, allowing that hand to come back down to the mat. We'll step the right foot back shifting the hips back, coming back into downward facing dog. And here we'll allow the knees to come down to the mat. We're gonna walk the hands, a few handprints out in front, and then allow the center of the chest to sink down, keeping the hips stacked over the knees as we come into puppy pose. Forehead can be on the mat here. Or if your shoulders are feeling a little bit more loose today, you can take the chin to the mat, allowing the heart to sink down even farther. One last breath. Pressing into the palms here. Inhaling to come up, walking those hands back just a little. 
rolling the toes under in the back and we'll take this back into downward facing dog. Feeling that nice, strong connection, shoulders really pushing away from the mat here. You can bring the big toes closer to each other if you like, grounding down through the right foot this time, inhaling the left foot up, and then exhaling, pulling that left knee towards the left elbow. Inhale to shoot that left foot back up. <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. <laughs> Inhale, left knee comes to right elbow. Inhale, left leg comes back up. Exhale, left knee comes into the center, really pressing away from the mat, really pulling that knee into the chest. Belly's on tight. And then on your next exhale, step it through. Just like that, planting one, sorry, the right hand into the mat this time, inhaling open through the left arm. Easy twist. Inhaling up through the fingertips and then exhale, allowing those fingertips to rain down, planting the hand, framing the left foot, stepping that left foot back, shifting back into downward facing dog. And now allowing the knees to find the mat. This time we're going to take the elbows and drop them right underneath the shoulders. And then take the hands to the biceps here, not, not really to the elbows, but to the biceps and measure your distance here. So once you've found that distance, you have your choice of how to place your hands. You can take your hands with your palms flat on the floor, extend it out from your elbows, or I like to interlace my fingers, creating a little mm, uh, basket for the head here. And then we'll roll those toes back under and really pressing into the shoulders here, we'll allow the hips to rise up from the floor coming into dolphin pose. So this is like downward facing dog only on the elbows. Really rotate that tailbone up towards the ceiling, really press out of the shoulders here. And you're welcome to stay here or for a little more shoulder strengthening. You can begin to walk the toes towards the face, really pressing into the elbows here, not allowing much weight to come into the head. Maybe lifting one foot, dropping that foot, maybe lifting the other foot. And then allow yourself to sink back into a child's pose. And make any adjustments that you need to make here. And then we'll take that dolphin pose walk up one more time. So allowing yourself to come up from your child's pose or forward on the mat. Again, measuring that distance with the biceps, choosing how you'd like to hold your hands, and then rolling the toes under, shifting the hips up, coming into your dolphin, staying here for three breaths, or maybe really pressing into those shoulders, elbows, bringing the head towards that basket, coming up on the toes. If you have a headstand in your practice here and wish to practice it now, you can do that. One last breath. And then release all the way down to the mat, child's pose. And if you like, you can take those arms out long next to you, coming into a more traditional child's pose, or you can keep it 
an extended child's pose. A couple of deep breaths. Good. We'll press this up and take it onto the back now. So find your way onto your back. And once you've come down to your mat, bring your heels just as close to your tail as you can get them. You might even be able to reach down and brush your heels with your fingertips. Hands come palm side down next to the hips. And then pressing into the heels here, we'll inhale as we lift the hips up from the floor. Coming into bridge pose. Pressing into the elbows slightly, pulling the belly button in. We'll press into the right foot as we lift the left leg up from the ground. Allow the left sole of the foot to find the floor. And then pressing into the left foot. We'll allow that right leg to rise up. Finding the breath. And then when you're ready, slowly lowering the right foot and lowering the tailbone down to the mat, one vertebra at a time. Coming to rest on the mat. Maybe windshield wiping the legs a little from side to side, whatever feels good here. We'll come into our bridge pose one more time. If you have wheel pose in your practice and you'd like to substitute wheel pose instead, you can do that. Once again, bringing those heels close to the tail, pressing the palms into the floor. We'll inhale the hips up. This time walking the shoulder blades up underneath the back, interlacing the fingers. And if you are taking a wheel pose, making sure that all your fingers and toes are all pointing straight ahead here. Couple of deep breaths. And then allow those fingers to release. Allow yourself to come down slowly with control out of your bridge pose, out of your wheel pose. And then inhale those knees to the chest, roll out that lower back. And then dropping the left sole of the foot to the floor, We'll allow the right knee to stack on top of the left knee here, crossing the legs right over left, inhaling the arms open wide. We're going to allow that right knee to drop over to the right side, drawing the left knee along with it, taking the gaze over the left shoulder. And if for any reason this twist is too intense on your low back, just allow your legs to unwind. Finding a twist with your knees stacked. And then inhaling the knees back up. Allow the legs to unwind. Now taking that left knee over the right. And then when you're ready, drawing the left knee down, allowing it to bring the right knee with it, taking the gaze over the opposite shoulder. Inhaling the knees back up. We'll allow the knees to unwind, bringing both knees into the chest now. 
holding that left knee into the chest. We'll inhale as we extend the right heel up towards the ceiling. And then as we exhale, allow that right heel to slowly sink down, stretching out long, and then inhaling, drawing that right heel back in towards the body, right knee comes to meet the left, switching sides. Inhaling, left heel up towards the ceiling. Exhaling, coming down slowly. Stretching out long through that left heel as we hug the right knee into the chest. And then inhaling, dragging that left heel along the mat, bringing the left knee back into the chest. Again, one last moment here for any last movements that feel good, rolling out through the lower back, maybe allowing the nose to rise up towards the knees. And then with a big exhale, sigh it all out as you find your way into your Shavasana. Our busy schedules and our lives frequently do not allow us to have moments of silence. So taking just a few minutes here to rest in the silence. And when you're ready, lengthen, deepen your breath, wiggle your fingers and toes, maybe find some wrist circles or ankle circles. Inhale your arms up overhead, and roll to one side, resting your head on your arm. And then pressing yourself back up to a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for joining me today for this brief practice. I am grateful for each and every one of you that joined me here in this virtual space during this important time. And I hope that your yoga follows you off the mat.